Hey everyone, happy Monday. Now no grumbling at that, okay? You know, the situation that we're in has left people kind of wondering, I think all of us wondering a little bit what to do. Uh, in some senses, you know, we're, we, there's things that we can't do, obviously. In other ways, we're trying to think about the things that are really important to do. Uh, some of us are trying to figure out in the things that we have to do, how to get them done. And, and some of you are just plain trying to find something to do, right? Anything would do at this point in figuring that out. I kind of wanted us to focus a little bit on the idea of the important things to do. You know, you may have been asked at some point or thought about somebody faced with the question, if you only had so much time, what would you do? And this is Monday in the Passion Week, and I was reminded about Jesus, you know, on the Monday of his last week of, of Passion Week it was the day that he went into the temple to cleanse the temple to drive out the money changers. You know, he fashioned the, the whip out of the cords and he turned over the tables and he, he ran them out. And so on that day, in his last few days, one of the things he thought was most important to do was to show us something about our faith in God and our relationship with him. That faith in God was not about traditions and rituals, that it's not about buildings and certainly not about money. You know, he quoted the scripture from Isaiah where God had said, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. And so he was reminding us that it was really about the relationship with him and the time we would spend with him. And so I wanted to encourage you and challenge you today. You know, there's a lot of things you may be doing. Many of you are still working, which is a good thing. You know, work, work is a good thing. We've had that from the beginning in the garden. God gave us responsibility, things to tend to and take care of. Some of you are using this extra time to take care of your house, some cleaning up and fixing up and little projects, great things to do. Some of you are taking care of family and kids at home and, and things that you're doing, all good things. But along with that, you need to make sure to take some time to be alone with your Heavenly Father some time to speak with him and allow him to speak into your life and direct those steps and choices that you make and the activities that you do apply yourself to. And so I hope you'll take that to heart today, give it some thought and allow him some time to speak to you. I wanna pray for you this morning. Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now, thankful for another day, uh, thankful for the life that we've received from you, thankful that we've been invited into relationship with you. Jesus, thank you for what you did to open the way. Lord, we don't need any other go-between. We don't need anything else. You've invited us to come and told us at any place and any time, you hear us when we call to you. Lord, may we not overlook that opportunity. May we not neglect the opportunity, the privilege, and even the responsibility that we have to spend that time with you. And Lord, I pray that you'd help each one to carve out that time in their day to find some space, to find a quiet place, and spend some alone time with you. And as we do that, Lord, may we find vision, direction, purpose, focus, joy, and peace. Lord, all those things that come from you. Thank you for it today. Thank you for your presence with us. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you have a great day. I hope it's a busy day and a fruitful day, but make sure you take some time out to spend just with him. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.